Hey guys, Brian here and Bailey. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, been a long day today. I've drove 900 miles to uh, Alabama and back and picked up the tail stock for the GNL. So I'm gonna try and get it unloaded. And I'll also show you some of this painted up plywood I've got done for that project. I'll be able to start cutting it and fitting it onto the walls. Now I've got the polyurethane on it to keep the moisture from doing any damage to it. Did the edges and the front and the back both, so should be sealed up good. But uh, let's get the crane up here and see about getting this thing unloaded. I meant to take the camera with me and film uh, some of it while I was on the trip, but it actually rained the entire time pretty much from uh, Tennessee all the way through Alabama and then back all the way to my house basically. Uh, turns out there's a tropical storm today and apparently it's dumping rain all over this part of the U.S. So I got to play in that. Lots of wind, lots of rain, so not real good for camera footage anyway. I could see the sauce furnace when I drove by, but I didn't have time to stop. I had to get back and go to work tomorrow. So let's check it out. Here's my plywood painted up. I think that'll be a good looking surface. That's a back there with the knot holes. And there's the tailstock. Pretty much a pickup truck load. It was longer than I could get the tailgate shut with my tool t uh, fuel tank in there. So this is actually for a 350 so it's got a bigger hole and the bearing here takes a bigger bushing than uh, 340 but that's no big deal the rest of it all fits up the same and just means i can use bigger bars if i want to but uh, other than that it looks like it's in decent shape it's all still here i even got the gear that goes down here that does the uh, elevation automatically so let me get it unstrapped I unscrewed this lifting eye to give it more room up against the fuel tank. Now the question is will I be able to get it back in where it's sitting? Mm, let me close. No way. Alright, up, up, and away.
as I'm gonna go with it for now. I'll pull the truck out and stand it up, and then I'll move it back to the back. I had a big 20 ton crane where I picked this up. It was all electric controlled. It definitely lacks the finesse of these hand chains. You know, it's nice to be lazy and not pull the chains, but uh, they're certainly not as precision. Well, that's it for today. I'm going to call it quits. Uh, I'll come back and turn this thing up tomorrow and get it put on the mill. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the measurements they gave me were all correct, and if it's like it's supposed to, we'll find out. All right, let's see if we can't get this thing stood up and put on the mill and be sure it fits. So, I'll redo my flames. Well, I'm not sure if I can slide this on here or not like this. I may have to take these plates off the bottom, but I'm going to try it like this and see anyway. Uh, I've cleaned off the end of this and cleaned off the little surface rust that was on the bottom and oiled it up good and everything's smooth and I don't feel any grit in it. So I should be able to sit this down on here and have it sit good and square and flush and not be chewing up on the waves when it moves because this does move with the rack which is why it's going to have to pick up more to go over so the rack can go down in it which probably means this thing will go on with its plates Alright, I got the wedge loose. I think it'll go on now. Pick this up and let this over.
I can move it on here. Well, there it is. It's sitting on there. So, I got to get some of this stuff oiled up and cleaned up and try and get this thing adjusted side to side. And then I can work on getting it timed to the headstock so that when the headstock goes up and down, they go up and down together like they're supposed to. So, I'll work on some of that and I'll bring you back. Well, I have to say, I like the way it looks with the tailstock on here. It definitely gives it more of a proper boring mill feel. Now I gotta find some big uh, pieces of steel to make some boring bars out of. I need like some four and five inch diameter uh, bars that are 10 foot long to build boring bars out of, put cutters in and things like that to uh, manufacture to have for line boring on this machine. Uh, so if anybody's got any scrap hydraulic cylinders laying around or something like that that would uh, have uh, rams that kind of size uh, that I could use to build something, that would be good. Uh, otherwise, I'm still waiting on my wicks to come in. Uh, thanks to MSC, I was able to get wicks ordered. Uh, working with Gitch was terrible. I couldn't hardly get anything out of them. And then when I finally did get a little bit of something out of them, they told me I had to go somewhere else to get it because they had to go through a distributor anyway. So, fortunately, MSC is a distributor, and I called them, and in a half hour, I had supposedly uh, parts on the way. But uh, they haven't showed up yet. It's been a couple of days, but, uh, you know, the holidays throwing everything off, so I can't expect a whole lot. Uh, hopefully they'll show up tomorrow or over the weekend I can get this put back together. But uh, I lost my good ride out of the back of the truck now. It's going to bounce again. I had it moved out, but that's just the way it is. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.